hey welcome back to my channel so today we're going to talk about something that is very dear to me it is anxiety i suffer from anxiety since i was a teenager and i always kept it to myself and never really told anyone how i was feeling or like why i wouldn't do certain things but within the last year and a half i've really been working on my anxiety yeah there are a few like setbacks here and there where I've literally had like major anxiety attacks but opening up with it to people who are close to me like my friends my family like I really hid it from a lot of people like like no one actually know why I was the way I was when we would be going out places or how I wouldn't want to do certain things how I'd always decline it but within the last year and a half I've actually opened up quite a lot so I'm going to share with you a few of my travel tips for anxiety and these are what I do all the time and it literally helps me every time that I go and travel recently I went to Thailand and I actually filmed that trip so I'll put the vlog down in the description box below for you to check out and it's also going to be a video that's linked to that that's about how I got over my anxiety filming my first vlog in public because that was a challenge and that's the that's going to be a video to come so make sure you hit that subscribe button to check out that video also when that comes out if you need to like help dealing with anxiety so we're just going to go straight into like the tips that i use for traveling and how i deal with them i do this with everywhere i go unless it's somewhere that i've been before like how i'm half scottish i go to scotland so i don't have to do this when i go to new places this is what i do i research the destination so i'll look into like the activities there i'll make a pinterest board about that location and just like browse and find things that are actually there so it could be like beaches activities food places you want to go even look at youtube vlogs to see what people do when they're actually away in a destination and then have a sense of like the environment and everything this way you can like plan in your head like all the things you want to do you could plan your trip you could actually plan your outfits and it just gives you an understanding of how the location is and for you to actually be able to like settle down you know what it looks like you know like what to expect like watching youtube videos on your location where you're going is definitely beneficial because i wouldn't realize how busy bangkok is or like how a tuk tuk is if i didn't research the destination first and watch other people's vlogs on youtube as well so i definitely recommend doing that and making a pinterest board if you have pinterest if you don't you should get pinterest it's amazing and just make an actual board about the destination because then that way you get yourself excited about it you're mentally preparing yourself for the trip next tip is going to be make a playlist and i love music i listen to music every single day and i highly recommend that you, you make a playlist if you love listening to music for your trip and make sure it's a long playlist as well like have some have some songs on there that make you get really energetic and have some unwinding songs but don't always have like high energy like boof, 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 songs because what you want is you want to have like some calming songs so when you're like on the plane you can just like chill out and relax and unwind i like to listen to music when i'm falling asleep on the plane because what i like to do is just like to grab my hoodie close myself off put my headphones on and put a really calming song on and i usually listen to music the whole time i'm asleep because my head i in my head i like to block out everything so i like to block out the plane noise other people talking just the loudness of the plane i like to just be in my own little cocoon so that's why i listen to like playlists all the time i'm always updating my playlist as well so there's always new music and it's a good thing as well to put your playlist on shuffle because then you can have like songs from a while ago and most recent that are just like giving it a mix up. I can't stress this next one enough because this really makes a huge difference especially if you've got anxiety because it is just the best way for you to just unwind. So make sure you plan your route make sure you know how you're going to get to the airport if it's by driving or if it's by taking a train plan your route you give yourself enough time to get to the airport because there could be traffic delays so you always want to make sure that you have enough time because nobody wants to be getting to the airport with a few minutes or an hour left to get through check-in to get through security and then get straight to the gate and board the plane you do not want that especially if you're dealing with anxiety because that is just going to be setting everything off i like to get to the airport with a lot of time to spare so 
once I get through security, I like to just unwind, like de-stress myself because going through security is stressful enough. It And I'm like literally just standing in the queue like this, like just looking at all the security guards and I'm just looking completely suspicious AF. So going through security and once you've done that, like literally just go, just go and grab yourself a coffee, a drink, some food, whatever you want to do or get some sweets, whatever, like just go through and then find a nice quiet place to sit or wherever you find and just relax and regroup. You can like look at the board and see what time your gate is going to be opening, you can look about, you can take in the hustle and bustle of all the busyness that is the airport because I, with my anxiety, I absolutely hate open spaces with loads of people like i don't like that at all I hide my anxiety really well like some people if they really really know me they can tell by my facial expressions but majority of the time i'm just like blank but inside i'm just like <sighs> i like to describe my anxiety of like you know when you see a swan and it's like really graceful on the outside but then underneath the water just like kicking like mad that's how my anxiety is in my head do you like give yourself enough time so you can regroup and then you're mentally prepared for boarding that plane and in, in a lot more calmer state. Some of my friends find this funny and I don't really care. I think packing smart is a very good thing for going away. So make a packing list. Like write down everything from a toiletry section, a makeup section, clothing section, whatever. And just make a list. I usually have a list for my suitcase and a list for my carry-on. Write this on your phone in a notes section or you can actually have it printed out and then you can tick it off once you pack those items having a list is what i do it just makes me very organized and makes me have an understanding of what i need to bring and if there's anything that i need to actually buy from the shops that way i won't forget it if packing as well i don't like to pack so far in advance i would rather pack my suitcase either two days before or the night before because if i pack it in advance I won't remember, even though I've got my list, I won't remember what's physically there. I mentally have to see the stuff going in and then it's still being in my brain like the next day. I can like visualize what I've actually put in. I started doing this one in the last year. So what I actually do is I download the actual airplane providers app and this way I can keep track on the actual plane itself. You can see if the plane's gonna be delayed, what gate it's going to, what plane it usually is. Like some apps actually tell you the size of the plane. I, know, I remember when I flew solo for the first time, that was an experience. Um, and I flew with EasyJet. EasyJet actually let you track the plane as it was flying to the airport where you was about to fly from. So this way I was actually able to track where the plane was in relation to myself so I could actually watch it land at the airport and then know what gate it was going to and then how long it was going to take to refuel before we actually boarded. So actually you also have the notification switched on for the app because that way as soon as the gate opens it notifies you and then you don't have to always go to the board. When I flew with Emirates they had the notifications and it actually told you when the gate opens so I'm pretty sure like BA and EasyJet and all the other apps may have the same feature as well. This one is crucial for me when I'm flying. I have to pick my seat. I cannot be on the plane if I do not have either the side seats or at least the window seat. Window seat is my number one seat to go to the worst ever seat i had to do this on the way from dubai to bangkok and that was i think nine hour flight i'm not too sure that was in the middle aisle and that is the worst place for me to be on a plane because i am in the middle of the plane and i can't see out of either of the windows on the side my seat has to be either the middle seat on the side so like the three seats and you sit in the middle or it has to always be the window seat because there's something about being at the window that just gives me a bit of like extra space. Like I can see outside and that just makes me feel like I have a lot more space that I could just be like, okay, it's like very wide out there. It also distracts me from the plane. I can just be out there daydreaming and looking like proper, just like thinking about stuff, watching the world go by. At cruising altitude, I like to see just all the clouds and sun and it's just peaceful. That is just my favourite place to be on the plane. 
like i remember when i used to be so scared of flying that i wouldn't even go to the bathroom like as soon as i sat down at the seat that was me for the whole flight i wouldn't get up for anything and believe me i would hold going to the bathroom until i got off the plane because i was just so scared My brain used to think that if i was to stand up that i would fall through the floor and through the plane and i was like no morning that that is not the case now i'm actually a lot better of actually like getting up and going for a walk because obviously that's very good for you going for a walk up and down the plane it's like circulation around your body and obviously going to the toilet is a very good thing on the plane as well so if you could actually book your seat then highly recommend you doing it even if you have to pay a small little fee I personally would still do it. I always want to be in charge of picking where I want to sit and then I don't get surprised when I board the plane like we did when we flew to Thailand from Dubai because we picked our seats to fly from London to Dubai but for some reason Emirates wouldn't let us pick our seats from Dubai to Bangkok. So we obviously, I went from having my nice window seat to having the middle aisle. And I'm guilty at this one because I love to plan my food in advance. So when I have to go traveling, I research everything. Like I mean, down to the food that is going to be serving on the plane. As soon as the menu is shown on the app, like when I flew with Emirates, it said that you can view your menu for that flight. I went on there, had a nosy, because that way I know if I don't like what they're gonna be serving, I could go to the shops and pick something else that I can take on board with me. And in that way, I know that I've got food because the worst case scenario is that you've got no food whatsoever for the whole plane journey and you're starving. I absolutely hate airplane food to be fair, but when I flew with Emirates, I actually really liked the plane food. Like I did film like every single plane food that I had on my journey to Thailand and back. And I might put that all together in a video. If I do, eventually I'll put the link down in the description box for this. But the food was really good. And usually I would be the person who would either bring Burger King on the plane or go get a sandwich or anything because I just never liked airplane food. If you can see what's going to be getting served on the airplane, you can decide if you need to bring extra food anyway. I always bring a few snacks anyway on the plane. So this way, you know that if you're not a fan of anything that's on offer, you have spare food. The next thing is going to be reading material. I like to grab some magazines for the flight. That way I can just like have a nosy. I usually like getting the ones that have like true stories in like you can take take a break and stuff like that because that has a mixture of like true stories and it also has games at the back so if you have like a kindle or anything like that then have some good books with you that you can read to distract yourself and even if you can pick up a new book at the shops then that will be a good thing as well while you're at duty free making sure that you always have your charger for your phone, your iPad or your laptop, whatever it is that you want to take with you, then that way you know that you've got battery for the whole flight. And especially if you are going to a new location and you need your phone for directions, like if you're going to be driving yourself or you don't know if they're going to speak the same language as you, then that way you can have your phone fully charged with battery so you can actually find the destination very easily. I actually did a video of what's in my carry-on bag so I'll put the link down below and I also have it up as a card right now so you can decide if you want to watch that because that's got a good few tips in there. Knowing where you're going to stay is crucial especially like if you need to have information on your phone then this is a good thing for you. I like to take a picture from google or their website of the outside of the actual building because that way i know when we're traveling what i need to look out for i also google street view my hotel just so i can have a feel of the road and then i know like how it should look when we're in the taxi because when we went to thailand they pulled up outside and i was like no this is not the road that google had another tip is going to be about going back to security so if possible have your actual liquid items in a bag already like 
already done so you don't have to go to the side and get all the stuff out it's already in your carry-on bag this will save time and will save all the fussing around with everyone else who's like trying to work out if they can take these things on board with them this way you already know that you've got your items already done and you can just go straight to the queue Next is going to be travel comfy and I mean travel in comfy clothes that you're going to feel nice and snug and comfortable in. Always have like multiple layers as well because you don't want to just be like having one set of clothes and then you're feeling cold or you want to be a little bit more snug. So I like to wear layers when I go traveling because that way when I'm going to sleep I usually like to wear a hoodie. So I will put a hoodie on when I'm traveling and that just gives me an extra little bit of comfort. If you have a favorite teddy or a blanket then take these with you as well because anything that's going to make you feel a little bit secure and comfortable then you will really need these while you're traveling with getting comfortable on the flight make sure that you get yourself as comfortable as possible because that seat is going to be your own little space for the next few hours so just make it your own unwrap that plain blanket if they give you one and the pillow and just make yourself comfortable take off your shoes make sure you have some nice socks on they could be even fuzzy socks just make sure that you are comfortable and you are in your own little space and you feel secure not all airlines supply a blanket and pillow so if you know that your airline is not going to do that make sure you bring your own because then you have a nice comfy environment so it could be a travel pillow and you, or your favorite blanket just whatever's best for you to make yourself comfortable in that situation the other thing is to download new apps so it could be gaming relaxation anything that you are interested in and that's going to distract you for a little bit before you actually take off make sure that you've got everything out of your carry-on bag that you need so your charger your headphones your sweets anything you actually need for the next like hour or so at the beginning of the flight just so you can prepare yourself what i like to do as well is i like to look at the in-flight entertainment either beforehand if possible on the website or while we're just taxiing on the runway i just flick through the inter entertainment and then just like find any movies that interest me you can also download movies onto your ipad your phone your computer or sign into netflix or whatever even sky q you can download movies if you have the movie pass um my favorite movies like download your favorite movies like my go-to movies are 80 films and sometimes i love an animations as well so like 80 films could be like pretty in pink um back to the future breakfast club they are my favorite films so if you have your favorite films on there you can just like unwind and relax the last tip that i have while flying is look at the duty free magazine that's on the plane if they have one because you can just browse and see if there's anything that you can buy for friends and family or even yourself like you can treat yourself on the flight for doing such a fantastic job if you like this video about how to deal with anxiety while traveling then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos so i hope you enjoyed this video until next time bye